Hi, I'm Colby Pierce. Welcome to episode one of A Diary of a Psychotherapist. Just been finishing up some case notes. And in addition to your ethical responsibilities to keep good case notes of your sessions with your clients, they're actually really important in keeping track of and monitoring progress in psychotherapy. In terms of what I think are really important things to include in my case notes, first thing I do is I keep very good records of how a client presents. Now my my clients are primarily children and young people who are recovering from a tough start to life. Um, mostly that has taken the form of uh, relational and developmental trauma um, when they are in the care of their mum and or their dad. Now I keep very good notes of how they present each time uh, they come to see me. Uh, that includes how they're dressed, how the care that they've taken around their appearance, how they respond to me arriving in the waiting room, uh, how readily they separate from whoever brings them along to their sessions with me, how well they engage with me in the session, um, and particularly how what their verbal output is like, what their uh, emotional presentation is like throughout the session. Do they converse freely with me or is their verbal output restricted? What their emotions are like, are they animated and expressive? Are their emotions congruent with content and context? How well do they regulate um, or respond to co-regulation by me? I'm also interested in their defensive behaviours during the, during the session. Do they try to set the agenda, both in terms of activities we do and conversations we have? Because my approach to psychotherapy is highly relational, uh, and I'll talk about why that is the case in another short video. What transferential behaviours am I seeing? Of course, I also keep um, a record of the um, interventions that I have delivered during the session. Um, I'm quite interested in how they go at the end of the session. Do they seek to delay or extend the session or do they go easily? Now, all of this is predicated on having a good, solid, theoretical framework that you're working in relation to. I'll talk more about that in another video like this. As I mentioned in that other video, having a good, solid, coherent, theoretical framework from which to to reflect on your client's presentation and, and behaviour particular transferential behaviour and approach to the therapeutic relationship during the consultation is really important also in having an idea of what changes you are expecting to see as part of an effective delivery of a psychotherapy service. Okay, back to um, case noting and I'll see you in the next one.